Good morning, sunshine. Well, it is morning, but you can't really tell because of how dark this room is. Huh? Hey, hey, calm down, honey, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Your sweet, caring girlfriend. I just look a little different now. That's why I made it so dark. I don't need you running away from me. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to remove the gag. And now how skittish you get. So I wanted to make sure you wouldn't scream when you woke up like this. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that you aren't scared of me. It's just that... I'm not exactly me, if that makes sense. You've been nothing but supportive of me since we met. That's part of the reason why I decided to trust you with this. Trust you with what? Well, the truth. Don't worry, I'll explain. You know how, around this time of year, I'm usually away or really sick. I've never actually traveled and I've never really been sick. I was hiding. In truth, my style is something that I do out of necessity rather than any personal interest I have in it. I do like it, but it took me some time to really get into it. My skin is naturally pale. No makeup required, of course, this wouldn't pass normally, but in today's age, there are ways I was able to blend in by taking advantage of various styles that I've developed. Uh, I don't know how to exactly explain this, so I'm just going to say it. I'm not human, I'm an arachne. Yes, like the myth of arachne and Athena. Originally, we were monsters, but as the age changed, so did we. Oh, you think I'm insane, don't you? I don't want to show you, not yet. Humans are scared of small spiders. I don't think you're ready to see a big one. Even the top half of its body was that of a cute girl. Oh, fine, I'll show you. Uh, mm, mm. Look a little higher. See my eyes? All six of them? Each glowing faintly crimson. Uh, I, see, this is why I didn't want to show you. I knew you would rack this way. All you must rack this way. They hate us. They think that we're monsters. That's why I'm forced to hide. So many other monsters have it so much easier. They have magic that's able to hide their features. They have the ability to blend in whatever way they want. And your Lamia, whose amulet failed, and she was found out by a human. Not only did they keep their secret, but they are happy together. Me? I had to plan out when and how I reveal myself because I know that if you saw me an accident, you wouldn't see me as me, and even if you did, you wouldn't want to be with me anymore. You're really a nice boy. That's why I had to do this the way I did. I can show you bits and pieces of myself little by little. When I show you who I really am, you won't be scared. You're such a lovely boy. Why? Well, th that's because this, this, uh, well, mm, this is my mating season. <gasps> the reason why I go away during this time of year is because I can't control myself. I started doing this when I was a teenager. That's why, despite my absences, I still did well in school. They were told in advance about my situation with boys. So, the last thing they needed was some teenage romance between a lovesick spider and some 
unsuspecting boy. Which is what ended up happening, but I handled it. I made sure to keep myself from completely losing it around you. You see, part of the issue is that larger monsters are harder to hide. A simple charm won't cover it. In order to get around this, most of my clothes were made with the intention of being conduits for magic in order to hide my lower body. I also wear glasses because it takes more work to hide my eyes than other monsters. What I'm trying to say is I can't get intimate without revealing myself. And then there's the emotional side of things. My kind are naturally dominant and possessive, sometimes even sadistic in nature. I learned how to control those emotions, but I'm not exactly myself during mating season. It's a little strange. Technically, I can mate whenever I want, but during this time, there is a certain drive that's just so much more intense than normal, especially with boys. It's like I've gone years constantly being turned on without ever doing something about it. But that's not true because every night I... Look, what I'm trying to say is that I love you and I wanted to show you myself for so long, but I was so scared. But now I don't care anymore. I want to feel you with my real body, touch you with my real hands, see you with my real eyes. I feel so blind having to resort to only my two main eyes. But you look so amazing now that I can truly see you. Those beautiful eyes and those shore there. <sighs> I didn't even think you could look better. I brought you here because I wanted to be in my own environment. This is... This is my room. The reason why I always insist on going to your house is because my place wasn't exactly designed for humans. I reckon you need a lot of space because we're large and basically made to live in webs. Yes, webs. How else do you think I was able to tie you up so securely without harming you? Wavy comes to us as naturally as breathing. It's kind of customary for us arachne to wrap up our lovers. <laughs> that and it's probably the safest way to hold you in the web. Yes, we are lovers, aren't we? One spider girl and one boy. We've said that we loved each other a bunch of times. We've been through so much together, been together for so long. That's why I'm revealing myself to you. I don't mind if you're scared. I just don't want you to hate me. Do you think that you can still love me, despite what I am? You want me to trust you, but I do trust you. Y you want to see me? Are you sure? Mm. Ah, there, the light should be just bright enough for you to see me. This is me? From the waist down, I'm a spider, black exoskeleton, eight sharp legs, massive. My hands are sharp claws, my front two legs are smaller than my other six, because they're meant for holding things still. But I don't even have normal teeth, I have fangs, fangs for venom, that combined with my natural well, should I say pale, but I know it's kind of dark in this spirit. It makes me look some fantasy monster to be slain. No, you do me that. I oh, know you're such a, a gentleman. You do me that. I oh, know you want to be kind because you are such a good boyfriend. But there's no need to lie. I'm terrifying. Yeah, I suppose that certain people thought that I was scary in my human form. So, what if you were different? This is a far cry away from just being God. Oh, you really think I'm beautiful? Hot? No, stop. Don't you... You're going to make me lose control. 
honestly. <laughs> Honey, with you all tied up like that, it's taking everything I have just to keep my hands off you. Uh, can I... can I get closer? Thank you. I want to feel you. Mm, so warm. Do you like it when I gently glide my fingers over you? I'm making sure to be extra careful. A little extra pressure and I could cut you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. The last thing I want is to hurt you. Even if you trust me. Even if you aren't scared. I want you to tell me if I accidentally hurt you. This part of mine it's still that of a monster. Even if I don't act like one, there's no denying the fact. No matter how gentle I want to be, these claws of mine are still made to rend flesh. These fangs of mine to tear, my venom to kill. I can control all those things. I can even use my venom to make you feel good, but only in moderation. <sighs> Does that feel nice? I can feel that your heart rate is starting to slow down. My webs are vibrating much less. <sighs> oh, deep down inside, I always knew you would accept me. But maybe I was hoping you wouldn't. Mm, I've never been in this form around a human before. But I know what I can do to animals. From an early age, I learned that my fingers were like knives. They are really good for this, though. I suppose that everything has its purpose. Hmm? You want to know what I'm going to do? What do you mean? You mean mating season? Well, I've already got you all wrapped up. Oh... Oh, there's that heartbeat again. Oh, uh, I won't lie to you anymore. I know exactly why you're so scared of the thought of mating. It isn't about children. It isn't about intimacy. It's about this stereotype. You think that I'm going to eat you afterwards, don't you? Darling, I wouldn't do that. We're far more civilized than the spiders you see in the wild. Even in the past, only for every small percentage of acne and their mates. And trust me, when I say they weren't exactly subtle about it. We're sadistic in nature. If I had that in store, I probably would have said something. And even if that was the norm, it's completely illegal for monsters to hurt humans. And even if it were allowed and the norm, I wouldn't hurt you. You mean so much more to me than a meal. I want you as my boyfriend, as my mate. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I fantasize about wrapping you up in my web and holding you close with my legs, gently kissing you. Stroking your hair? I need you, darling. That's why I brought you here. I couldn't go another mating season alone without my boyfriend. Because the more times I isolated myself while we were together, the more I craved you. There was nothing I wouldn't do to have you. At the height of mating season, I could practically be described as delusional or insane. Last year, I waved a figure in the shape of person so that I would be able to sleep because I convinced myself that was you. And I tell you all of this because I know you'd understand. You already accepted the things that I do that no one else does. It's just another chapter of our relationship. So please, baby, trust me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, babe. I love you, my mate. I love you so much. 
I just want to hold you for a little while longer before we do anything. I want to sever this moment. I'm going to hold you close to my chest and stroke your hair, okay? Mm. I love you, darling. I love you so much. <laughs>